All You Need to Know, the Bloomberg Quint podcast that prepares you for the day's business. Brought to you by Small Cases. Invest in ready-made portfolios created by professionals. Good morning. You're listening to the Daily Morning Update from Bloomberg Quint and I'm Alex Matthew. Today is the 23rd of October. Let's talk about the most interesting news first. Over the past week, there have been several seemingly distressed sales in the secondary market for corporate bonds. In one such trade, Deutsche Bank, which bought India Bulls housing finance bonds at a steep discount, has rejected seller Bajaj Allianz life insurance move to annul the trade. The bonds worth 210 crore rupees were to be delivered on Tuesday, but the trade hasn't been settled yet. Bajaj Allianz Life had offloaded the bonds which bear a coupon rate of 8.57 to 8.9 percent at a 37 to 41 percent discount to the last traded price on Thursday. That pushed the effective yield to maturity on the bonds to between 31 and 43 percent. The Modi government has conducted a bureaucratic reshuffle. It appointed Tuhin Kanta Pandey as a secretary of the Department of Investment and Public Asset Management, or DIPAM. This came after incumbent DIPAM Secretary Anil Khachi was repatriated to his parent CADA on personal grounds, according to a government order. It also appointed Pankaj Kumar, the current additional secretary at the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, as the chief executive officer of Unique Identification Authority of India, or UIDAI. Revenue Secretary Ajay Bhushan Pandey has so far headed the Aadhaar issuing authority. And there are some more changes. If you're interested, look up the story on the website bloomberquint.com. In earnings, RBL Bank reported a sharp fall in net profit for the second quarter of the current financial year. It fell 73.4% year-on-year to 54.3 crore in the second quarter. And the culprit was primarily a sharp rise in bad loans. As a percentage of assets, bad loans doubled sequentially from 1.3% to 2.6%. Slippages or fresh loans turning bad stood at 1,377 crore rupees in the quarter. In the telecom space, operators Reliance Geo, Infocom, Vodafone Idea and Bharti Airtel have paid over 4,500 crore rupees cumulatively to the telecom department in spectrum dues in the past three to four days, according to sources who spoke to PTI. In international news, the Chinese government is drafting a plan to replace Hong Kong's Carrie Lam with an interim chief executive, according to a Financial Times report. Lam's successor would be installed by March, covering the remainder of Lam's term should Chinese President Xi Jinping decide to carry out the plan. Lam's replacement would not necessarily stay on for the full five-year term afterwards, though. Potential succeeding candidates include Norman Chan, who is the former head of the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, and Henry Tang, who has also served as the territory's financial secretary and chief secretary for administration. In the UK, Boris Johnson's mission to take his country out of the European Union in nine days' time was thrown off course as members of Parliament blocked his plan to rush the Brexit deal into law. The House of Commons voted 322 to 308 against Johnson's proposed fast-track timetable for the Withdrawal Agreement Bill, which is the crucial piece of law to implement the deal that he struck in Brussels last week. The defeat followed an initial victory for Johnson in gaining parliamentary support for the general principles of the deal that he struck with the EU. Meanwhile, European Council President Donald Tusk responded by saying he'd recommend the EU accept the UK's request for an extension. While he didn't set a date, his suggestion that this could be agreed without a summit pointed to accepting the British Parliament's request for a new exit date of the 31st of January 2020. In international markets, U.S. stocks ended lower, with the Nasdaq and the S&P 500 dropping 0.7 and 0.4% respectively. The Dow ended only marginally lower. Stocks in the Asia-Pacific region are mostly lower too. 
Japan, which is playing catch-up, was higher by 0.3%, but the other two early risers were trading lower. With that, it's over to Darshan Mehta for the trade setup for the day in India. Good morning, Darshan. How are we looking today? Hi Alex, good morning, good morning everyone. Global queues are muted at this point of time. The SDX Nifty is also indicating a muted outlook. Even yesterday we were down almost 70 points on Nifty and that snapped a 6-day winning run that we had. But again, uh, in the midst of earnings season, so Bajaj Auto, HCL Tech, Hero Motor Corp, JSW Steel and LNT will be the Nifty numbers that will be out today. Among the other ones, there is HDFC Life, Torrent Pharma, Polycap, Biocon, NIT Tech, Inox Leisure, Havels, PI Industries, Hex and GHCL to name a few of the larger companies that will come out with numbers. In terms of numbers announced, Axis Bank results were above estimates with improved asset quality. They reported a loss due to write down of deferred tax. The asset quality remains stable on the back of high write off and strong recoveries and upgrades. And management believes loan growth will be 5 to 7 percent faster than the industry growth for FY20. Asian Paints operationally weak set of numbers with PAT that was aided by tax reversal. It's the seventh straight quarter that the decorative paints uh, segment uh, registered high double-digit volume growth. Gross margins expanded to 42.4% compared to 39.9%. The average realization, however, dropped 6% due to high growth in the low price products. And KBS Anand will be retiring from the post of MD and CEO on March 2020. Amit Singhle will take over as MD and CEO of the company. Bajaj FinServe, strong set of numbers. Revenues up 47%, profit up 71%. But Bajaj Life Insurance has signed a corporate agreement with Axis Bank in the second quarter, which will be positive for the company. RBL Bank across the board brokerages have cut the target. The results were below estimates on weak asset quality. The NII met estimates while the profit dropped on higher provisioning. The management expects total stress accounts to be close to 1,800 crores and that too from four different corporates. They have recognized 800 crores as NPA and the 350 crores is the provisioning. India Mart uh, strong revenues and operational growth. The PAT comes in lower due to a tax impact. The registered buyers and the paying subscription suppliers see double-digit growth. OBC decent set of numbers. NI profit both up. Uh, asset quality stable. Mixed back from m M&M Financial. Stable asset quality but operating performance was weak. Sharp surge in credit costs and weak disbursement growth. And the weak disbursements was highlighted because of weak economic sentiment and sluggish rural growth. However, the AUM growth at 22% was strong. See at weak quarter with a 5% top line drop and a 30% pad drop but the EBITDA came in much higher because of sharp decline in staff costs. The gross margins rose due to favorable mix uh, and some bit of commodity benefit. ICIC potential results were in line with estimates, strong protection growth but dip in persistency. Among the other stocks you need to watch out for, Lind India will be in focus. They have sold their Chennai and Hyderabad land along with the decommissioned air separation unit at Hyderabad and they will get close to 1380 crores from the same. Sterling and Wilson Solar gets the letter of intent for a $635 million project. Hatson Agro has the board has approved setting up of an ice cream plant in Telangana and Apollo Pipes were in, in terms of a block and bulk deal. Uh, Ashish Kacholia has acquired 1 lakh shares in the company. But there's much more you need to know before trade actually starts. For that, log on to our website bloomworkquin.com and click on the all you need to know tab and you will be prepared for morning trade. Thanks, Sarshan. Well, that's all we have for you on this podcast. But as always, and like Darshan says, there's a lot more on the website BloombergQuint.com. So don't forget to check it out. This is Alex Matthews signing off. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed listening to All You Need to Know. Did you know that you can listen to this show on the IVM Podcast app? On the IVM Podcast app, along with this, we have a number of other shows which you think you'll enjoy. Listen to Cyrus Says with Cyrus Brocha as the host. Listen to Pesa Vesa with Anupam Gupta. The Scene and the Unseen with Amit Varma or Shunya One hosted by Shiladiti Mukhopadhyay and myself. Check out the IVM Podcast app to get more talk content that you will enjoy.